What's going on? Power Book 2 Season 4 Episode 4 has came and this is my review. This was my favorite episode yet. Make sure you subscribe if this is your first time here. Check out the other content and click that like button. Now, this episode was the best one to me of Season 4. They've been building up. I literally thought Drew was going to get knocked off. Drew is like a cat. He got nine lives. Like, people be having him cornered. Be having the gun on him. All type of stuff. He just get out of it every time. Monet put the gun on him. I thought Monet was going to knock him off. Nope. They get all emotional. Diana knock her down. They run out of there. I thought Kane was going to get him the first time. Nope. Kane get all emotional. Drew takes the gun from Kane. I'm like, come on, Kane. How you going out like that? Drew takes the gun from him. Literally. Takes the gun from him. And then he could have killed Kane. Now, that, that whole scene when he was yelling, ah, I'm like, okay, they could have, you know, but he could have killed Kane, but he didn't. He gets out of there. All right. So now we get to the end. Kane comes up on Drew. I'm like, I know he going to get it. Monet calls. She gets a change of mind because she finds out about Diana being pregnant. Then she having flashback scenes. And I got to be honest, this was the best flashback scene. That they didn't did so far. At least to me. Alright. And when she slapped Drew when he was the young boy. I said. That boy was soft way back when. He was a little punk way back when. You know. But. I love that scene. Because he knocked somebody off for Monet. And I bet you. Lorenzo ain't know nothing about this situation. I bet you. Kane probably didn't even know about that. Or Diana. It was probably one of those things. That him and Monet went through. That don't nobody know about. But it's one of those things that make him the person that he is. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I thought it was very important. And it's probably why he got all that built up energy. Like, yo, let's get Monet. She ain't never been good to us. Even though Monet and Diana probably ain't got no, no uh, things like that when they was younger. Or Monet and Kane probably ain't got nothing like that. That was that. Traumatic. So I thought that was a real dope scene because it plays a role into why Drew is the way he is when he's older. All right. Now they get in this this uh, old stash spot. Kane and Drew. Monet calls. Can't knock him off. But Drew start talking crazy to Kane. When he start talking crazy to Kane, I'm like, oh, he about to do him like um, old buddy. In, in uh, Power Book 3 got dead by his brother. That's what I was thinking in my head. Unique. How Unique got dead in Power Book 3. I'm like, yeah, his brother about to do him the same way. Nope. Kane just beat him down bad, but he didn't go all the way. So Drew going to be okay. Drew survived. I said, I can't believe this. And then Diana survives. And we figure out it's Tariq's baby. So how is he going to really react? This one we about to know. Who Tariq really is as a man, right? Like, okay, you figure out this girl pregnant. You always like Diana, let's be real. But they tried to set you up. Diana really didn't want to do it. Drew was really, you know, leading that whole situation, in my opinion, right? And even when Drew and Diana was in the car, Diana like, yo, let's just come clean the mama. That's mama. We, we'll be all right. Drew like, no, nah, forget that. So Diana was really basically following Drew this whole time, right? So... You know, they did what they did. Now, how is Tariq going to react to knowing he's the father? We've seen him and Monet get a truce. Tariq runs up out of there. Before that, he learns, I'm the father of that child. And Tariq was on some savage stuff this episode. How he did old buddy from the school? Like, did him dirty, and he clacked it on him. See, that's when dude, dude gave up that information quick, though. Like, super quick. And then once you give up the information, now he didn't get an address and all that. So, I really don't know how they, but he just said a location. So, Tariq knew where I was at, I guess. But, you know, when Tariq clacked it on him, Buddy was like, uh-uh, he not playing. When he heard the, when that, he like, uh-uh. She out there with my pop's crib, da 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 But then, that split second where he like, let me make my move. And this is why. The dudes that rob people are the goofiest dudes in the world. The dudes that, you know, be trying to uh, do what Tariq did and just get information for people, 
be the goofiest dudes in the world and they always end up in some deeper stuff than they thought they was going to be into. Because when you're going to rob somebody, when you're going to, you know, play the, the, the tough man role and get some information, it don't never go like how you think it's going to go. You know, that's how a lot of these dudes end up in jail, trying to rob somebody and then somebody end up fighting and you end up taking their life. Just like Tariq did this dude. You know, but I think Tariq ain't going to go to jail for that. But it was very sloppy. He could end up, that be the thing. Because he go in there, you don't know if they got cameras or anything. It's very, a very unplanned, sloppy kill. Right? So that could be the one that bring him down. But I don't think it is. But he know now that Diana's pregnant. It's his baby. Is he going to be like, okay, I need to protect Diana? She is on my side, is him and Diana going to go, okay, it's us against the world now for the, the kid, right? Because I think that's what I would be on. If I knew, okay, she pregnant, it's a high chance it's my, my kid, right? I think I would be like, okay, let me let her be close and hopefully she don't backstab me, which she probably won't because I'm the kid's father and she's the kid mama. So, you know, we need to come together. So that's what I think he going to be on, but we got to see. Because Tariq been moving, you know, pretty savage in these last few episodes. And his partner in crime, Brayden, slipping. He is slipping. He getting high now. Tariq shouldn't even be smoking with him, right? Because I know where I'm from, people call them primos. But he could be putting a little coke in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know, dog. I do not know. He, like, you can't just be hitting, but I don't think Tariq really know how bad Brayden is with the dope. You see what I'm saying? But you can't just be hitting random dudes blunts. You definitely can't be doing that no more in real life. Because dudes be smoking on all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hit a dude blunt and be, whoa, this ain't nothing I ever had, but you be messed up. So you can't be doing that, you know, but Tariq hit his blunt. I wonder how Tariq going to feel when he figure out that. Brayden is about to start stealing some of the product for this chick. And he getting hot like that. I wonder how Tariq going to handle that and what he going to do to Brayden. Because Brayden is his right hand man. Right? Hopefully he just, you know, maybe pistol with Brayden. Maybe hit him a little bit. But he don't take Brayden out. But that's going to be something to pay attention to. Another thing we got to pay attention to is this Tate and Carter dynamic right because they supposed to be this duo that came together and gonna be doing big things carter kind of stepped on tate in this this episode like really stepped on him tried to put him in line like hey this is my team or whatever i think that's gonna backfire though i don't think that's gonna go good because even though tate didn't say nothing most people might not say nothing right but they hold that you know what I mean? And then when you really need him, when you're really depending on him, they'll be like, nah, I remember that time he tried to shit on me in the office and leave you out there. You know, so I think something like that's going to happen with Carter if he end up depending on Tate. I think Tate going to come back around and, um, you know, not be there for him when he's supposed to be. You know, so we got to pay attention to that. Now, the other thing that I really think a lot of people ain't paying attention to but I think the dynamics between Kane and Noma has officially changed. They going to be seeing each other eye to eye. I think Noma going to be looking at Kane. See, when you hitting it, and you hitting that spot, you know, you start moving up. You hear me? But I think they going to be like equals in this relationship. Because they wasn't at the beginning of this episode. She still was talking to him like he a do boy. And at the end, he let her know like, I ain't your boy either. I'm a man. And then he the one hitting it. You see what I'm saying? She ain't hitting him. Don't get it twisted. He's the one hitting her. So the dynamics in that relationship is changing. All right? So I think we got to also pay attention to that. Now, at the end, we do see Tariq go get on Noma's daughter. And boy, she was tall, wasn't she? Because I don't think Tariq is, you know, short. <laughs> I don't think he's short. So she was just tall. She might have had on some heels or something. She like 6'1", six, 6'2", six, in heels or something like that. Like, she was, like, tall over Tariq. I'm like, dang, she tall as hell. He going to climb that tree, though. You know what I'm saying? So, 
you know, he get at her and you know vengeance is on his mind. So he looking at it like, oh, y'all try to play me? Okay, I know how to get back at you, right? He already did knocked up Diana, right? So they, <laughs> he, got, he got back at them real good, right? At the Tejadas, he knocked up Diana. He gonna be messing with Noma daughter too. And I don't think he gonna end up with her. I think he gonna end up with Diana. We seen him and Effie have a little communication. Of course, she talking about trust and all of this. Like, yo, Effie, nobody trusts you. Nobody. You can't be trusted. But it, but it was good, you know, advice that she gave him. But she can't be trusted either. So, you know, I definitely think Tariq gonna end up with Diana. She pregnant. You know, it just makes sense. But Noma's daughter? Oh, yeah, she gonna be a sacrifice. Gotta get at her. She nice, too. Everybody shooting a shot at Noma. You see Davis, he shot a shot at Noma. You see uh, Obi, he shot a shot at Noma before he got knocked off. And then Kane got her. Her daughter, nice like that, too. So everybody gonna be shooting. They shot at her, too. And Tariq shot his shot first. I think he gonna end up getting her, you know. But I'm hurt for it, man. Y'all let me know. What did you think about this episode? It was my favorite episode out of the four episodes. We got one more left, and then we gonna take this little break. All right, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Of course, I got different content that's coming out on the channel. Just check it out. Let me know what you think about it. As always, y'all be easy. Be safe.